Welcome back. So I have a travel in time. I, I've actually gone and started making this Angular 2 course planner and now I need a REST API for it. So I thought it could be cool to travel back in time now and actually continue on this video series where I now want to create a REST API for my new Angular 2 application. So if I look fatter it's just because I am. So uh, that's the reason. Uh, but I am my old self. So I'll start out this video. We're just going to focus on actually creating um, the basic REST API. The next video we're going to start to put it on Heroku, then we are, which is a, a live server that we're going to deploy our REST API on. Then we are going to create a Mongo lab so we can actually have a database available. We're going to set up a few things and create users so the REST API is ready to use inside this course plan Angular 2 application. So it's going to be so much fun, very exciting stuff here and let's get started. Step one before we even end this video, I'm going to start out by just creating a new folder and I'm just going to call it uh, CP REST. So it's the course planner REST API. So going to the CP REST here. And from in here, I'm going to make the call to actually create our application, our REST API. And I'm, I've decided to use this one, this one, the RESTful API called REST. I've looked at a few, but this is the one I ended up with. Uh, I really feel he's done a really great job here implemented security, implemented a lot of great features. So that's the one we're going to build. So I'm just going to launch this one like we did in the previous video. I want to call this course planner to uh, rest like this. That's the name of my application. I want the source code. I want the API uh, SSL in production mode. Not now. That's something we need later. Authentication API. Hell yeah. I want Facebook and I want actually I want Google. There we go. And I want a, a specific password. Do we want to create the um, send grid password reset? No, I don't want to do that. Now the installation is running and I'll see you in the next lesson where we'll try to deploy this or at least set up a Heroku se uh, server so you guys can start working with it. Have fun. See you next time.